Red Orchestra, Ostfront, 41-45. This puts you right on the Eastern Front, where 30 million of an estimated 7 million of the deaths of the Second World War took place. It is a harsh climate, both as far as actual weather patterns in the game, it's always overcast and you know there will there'll often be snow on the ground, sometimes it will literally be snowing at the time as well, and just the your surroundings are volatile. Any second you could be taken out by an enemy, you won't even know where it is, even after you've died. The game is all about simulating what fighting on the Eastern Front would be like, and almost everything is specifically tailored to that. This is not for the average first-person shooter gamer, and I mean no disrespect to either group by saying that. The, the graphics could be a tad better, especially the movement animations, which can be a bit robotic, but other than that, pretty much everything in this game is useful in the right circumstances and at the right time. Whether you're trying to take out a tank or you're you know, sniping, leading an assault, trying to hold down a position. No matter what you're doing, you have tools at your disposal that can be tremendously effective, but they can also be just useless, depending on, yeah, your, your expertise with them and your choices in using them. The game takes away a lot of things that we're used to from, you know, other shooters. You do not have an ammo count, there is no hit indicator for when you've taken damage. If you're shot, even once, if, you know, if it hits your torso, you're probably dead. If it's, if it's from a rifle or something heavy, you're probably dead. A machine gun will kill you if it shoots in your general area. It, even just, you know, because it fires, you know, a number of rounds in a second, so there is no just getting lucky and not quite being, yeah. You are not told whether what you're looking at is an is a friend or a foe. You might be able to see, you know, the color of the vehicle or uniform, but you probably can't see the icon, you know, the, the iron cross of the Axis forces or the red star of the Soviet or Allied forces. And even colors of vehicles and uniforms won't always be able to tell you. And hesitation might mean your death, and overly quick action might mean accidentally killing an ally. The game is bleak and not exploitative, but just really tells you what it's like to be in the throes of war, to be surrounded by death and destruction, and just with no way out. There is no area of this game where you can relax. It is tense from the moment you join a server to the moment you regretfully have to return to real life. It is addictive, but not relaxing. If you like this review and one more detailed one, the link will be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.